Now, I've seen a lot of these direct response uh, agencies do pretty well with the first part, which is, you know, highlight the problem to someone and then provide them with the solution. But where they fall down, they don't have a strong call to action. Uh, they just basically still offer a silly discount, like 10 or 20%. Discount stuff takes your brand from the penthouse to the shithouse without taking the elevator. So no, whoever wants to go down that path really needs to have a good look at themselves because it's not sustainable. You can't do it every day. Big W can and Kmart can and Walmart can, but you can't. Why would you make that your first port of call? What your first port of call should be incentive-based marketing. Because if you get it right, as McDonald's did with the Happy Meal toy, you can get four decades out of it. <laughs> Yeah, it's the two Johns, isn't it? You don't get that very often. Oh, what do you got there? What have I opened already? I've opened up uh, this one here. Thanks, mate. Yeah, you too. I've been involved with the big agencies and they're looking after clients like McDonald's. Don't get me wrong, people buy things because of brand. We buy Coca-Cola and Toyota and we buy BMW because of the brand. We've got big budgets and they can afford to put ads on the side of buses or the backs of taxis. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that you need a deep pocket. 96% of businesses in America, Australia and the UK are doing less than a million dollars per month. So therefore they haven't built that McDonald's or Kellogg style brand. They're wanting to put food on the table next week. Whereas a lot of the businesses that I deal with, what they want is direct response. Ad agencies think that direct response is down and dirty. It doesn't have to be dirty. They are what you call a direct response advisory service. It's all about problem solution marketing. Um, and the five components, if anyone's you know, you've got a pen handy, they might like to write this down. And you know what? Around about 90 something percent of businesses have never used it. In the first month, I could see that they were never going to increase their market share if they continued to do what the banks did. In other words, price discount. As a challenger brand, you've got to do stuff differently. And they said, well, smart Alec, what do we do? I said, look, stop the discounting. In other words, give up your 1% honeymoon rate and devote that to the travel company and they'll give you a holiday worth double that. They doubled their home loans in 12 months. They tripled their home loans in 18 months. We're talking billions, not millions. Around about halfway through the 11 years, I got Jerry Seinfeld to do their advertising. And of course, I, I've got the daylights out of that. Now that is message to market match. That is doing a sales promotion that absolutely uh, matches the brand. Normal redemption rate of a coupon drop. They would get maybe a two, three, four percent redemption on those coupons, and they thought that was fantastic. Guess what? We got 52%. That would be unheard of of any direct response campaign probably in the world even today. So 52,000 people out of 100,000 homeowners been lined up for hours. To if someone says to me, look, what are the most powerful incentives to give away? I normally say that there's four, four of them. Don't touch anything else but four, these four. Number one is, then they say, look, we're not allowed to do it because of the Articles of Association. You know, you can't meet behind the shelter shed with a, you know, a, a bag of cash and do that anymore, unfortunately. Uh, but <laughs> I just say to them, listen, it's very, very simple. Just, John, you've been in enough boardrooms, uh, you, know, you know that particularly with left brain thinkers, uh, you'll come up with a crazy idea. Under normal circumstances, I'm sure if I walked into any other bank and said, let's give away a holiday with a home loan and let's get Jerry Seinfeld to do it, they would have gone, like, why, but why? Hang around with crazies. Don't hang around with normal people. Hang around who, uh, with people who say, why not? Not people who say, oh, why? Why would we do that? Um, because it's exactly what a challenger brand should do. You take on the Coca-Cola, but with some cheekiness and a little bit of irreverence.